What's up guys, Jared calling here today. Hope you're all doing fantastically. Welcome to today's live Q&A. We're talking about your marketing 2020 growth plan today. And as you guys are tuning in, what I want you guys to do is share the stream. We're going to be talking about your marketing plan for 20 growth plan for 2020. So we're going to be talking about today. Excited for this particular episode. We're going to be speaking about your marketing growth plan for 2020. That's what we're going to be speaking about today. And I've got a bit of a quote for you guys to start with, which we'll be doing in a couple of minutes. We're talking about your marketing 2020 growth plan. That's what we're talking about today. As you guys are tuning in, say good day. Share the screen. Share the stream. Share the stream. We're going to be talking about your marketing 2020 growth plan today. And I've got a start off quote for you guys as well uh, to send the excitement high. <laughs> and it is funny, words speak everything, right? So yeah, you guys are going to love this one. Tune in because uh, we're going to be getting started in a couple of minutes. We're talking about your 2020 marketing growth plan today. That's what we're talking about. We are going to be going through strategy on that and exactly what you can do to be able to grow your business in 2020, right? Cool. As you guys are tuning in, make sure you're sharing the stream and everything. We're going to be getting started in a minute. There is a very specific little quote that I want to share with you guys to start with. So as you're tuning in, just say hello. Uh, I've got a quote that I want to share with you before we go into your 2020 growth plan. And I believe this is so, 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 so super relevant, right? Um... And the quote goes like this, nothing is impossible. The word itself says this. So it's funny what words do. People use, oh my God, this is impossible, right? When you look at the word itself, it actually says, I'm possible, right? So a bit of a quote for you guys today is, nothing is impossible and you can grow your business, you can achieve success, you can achieve anything that you want to do in 2020 despite what's going on in the world. All you got to do is have a fresh vision on life. So many people say, it's impossible to do something. When you break down the word impossible, it means I'm possible, okay? So I wanted to share that with you guys today because I thought it was super relevant because when it comes to your 2020 growth plan, uh, nothing is impossible with relation to what you want to achieve. You can do absolutely anything. All you got to believe is that I'm possible <laughs> and absolutely nothing is impossible it is only I'm possible, right? So I can do anything. So if you look at the breakdown of that, I thought super relevant for you guys today to be able to help out. So that's the quote. Nothing's impossible, just I'm possible. <laughs> so as you guys are tuning in, just make sure you're sharing the stream. We're going to be talking about your 2020 growth plan today and specifically how it is going to remain relevant to you and what you can do to be able to grow your business in 2020. Just believe that you are possible and you can do anything that you want to do. So let's get stuck into it, right? So when we're talking about your 2020 growth plan, That's for your marketing. And obviously, sales comes into this as well, right? Like the reason why we market is because we want more sales, correct? Just type yes into the comments if you agree. So, and I'd like to think that you would. <laughs> so when it comes to your 2020 growth plan for your marketing, right? It's, a, it's as simple as this, right? You need to start switching your focus around what it is that you're doing in your marketing activities, right? Now, a lot of people have a tendency to say that, you know, I don't get paid to do this. I don't get paid to do that. Uh, this, this social media thing is so big, it's a waste of my time, right? Um, you know, I just spend my, I spend so much time on my social media that, you know, uh, 
it's not a good use of my time, etc. And you wonder why people aren't getting the success that they want to achieve in their social media. And it doesn't have to be hard. So many people make it sound hard. It is not hard. It is a lot more simple than what you think it is. And when it comes to being able to sort of put in place your own plan, your own growth plan of your marketing, right? A lot of it is all like this. What is my outcome? Now, if you know your outcome, you know what it is that you want to achieve, right? And it's a dollar figure, right, that you want to achieve. What we can do is we can re reverse engineer the whole process for you, okay? So your 2020 growth plan is like, you know, by the end of 2020 or this new financial year of 2020, 2021, right? My outcome is I want to achieve X dollars in my business, cash, sales, in the bank, right? Then from there, what you do is you go, okay, cool. Now that I understand that, uh, what is my next steps? What must I understand? What must I do with my marketing in order to get there, right? And a lot of what it's going to take in your marketing to be able to get to this outcome is a succinct three main steps, okay? And those three main steps are quite simple. Number one, you must have an organic strategy, right? So non-paid strategy, it's a non-paid marketing strategy. You must have a paid strategy, right? And you must have a sales strategy. I hope that's all fitting within the spot. There we go, right? So you must have all three of these steps. Okay? So you must have an organic or non-paid strategy. You must have a paid strategy and you must have a sales strategy, right? In order to get to and convert to the outcome, right? So every one, every one of you no doubt would have set a target of something that you want to achieve, something you want to do 2020, 2021, right? Over the next 12 months, right? So to be able to get that, you must have all three of these strategies. Now, I'm going to give you guys some ideas around all of this as well. So the organic strategy is a posting structure, content plan, uh, process that you use to be able to extract people that are lurkers in the background to show up and say, hey, I want to do this with you, right? So you got to have an organic or non-paid strategy around that. And it's based around content. And it's based around getting people to show up, getting people to interact, getting people to go, okay, I need this, right? Yes, I want to do something with you, right? These are the things that we're wanting to get people to do through a non-paid or organic strategy for lead generation, right? Then you must have a paid strategy as well, right? And it can, it could be if you haven't got huge budgets that you have a very small budget to start with, very small budget. And that could be $5 a day, it could be $10 a day, but it's also a consistent budget that you consistently put into your marketing every single day. Right, five dollars a day. We're talking about around a hundred, two hundred bucks a month. Right, not a lot of money, very small amount. And money's everywhere. You just got to find a way to be able to flow it to you. Right, so you must have a paid strategy. Uh, number three is you must have a sales strategy. Right, so you must have a process to be able to take a new potential client that doesn't know who you are uh, to, from a lead to a sale. Right. We've got frameworks and I've done many videos on this page around sales, actually a lot more than what lately than what we have done in lead generation, right? So you can easily quite find one on the page that can cover that for you, okay? So 
you must have all three of these aspects in place to be able to get you to the outcome in your 2020 growth plan for your marketing and for your business. Okay? So these are the three things that you must have. Now, diving deeper into all of this, right, once you've sort of got the frameworks of, you know, a non-paid strategy or organic strategy, a paid strategy, and you've also got your sales strategy down pat, now what it's about is it's about working through numbers and putting some structures around it. And for all of you within your paid strategy, I'll touch on the paid strategy now and essentially what you should be looking for with all of this, okay? So, and as you guys are coming through this, if you've got questions, you can hit me with those questions because I'm not just here to talk at you guys, I'm also here to interact, give you guys some tips, ideas, strategies to be able to help you move forward. That's what it's all about. Welcome to the call, Veronica, and uh, thank you so much for sharing. You're amazing. And when it comes to, so you know what your outcome is, and you know you must have these three things, and look, you've got to get this on paper. You can't just have it in your head, right? You've got to have it on paper. You can't just have it in your head. It's uh, not worth it in your head, okay? So knowing that you've got your outcome, you got your organic, your non-paid strategy, you got your paid strategy, right? Now, I'm going to run through the paid strategy that you must have, all right? And as you guys are jumping on, make sure you share the stream so more people can hear this information. So, when it comes to a paid strategy for your marketing, you know what your outcome is, right? And that outcome is dollars, right? Then next level to that, you know, how many leads do I need to be able to hit that target, okay? Now, to give you guys a bit of an idea, right, you could work it in a 1 in 10 ratio, right, of, you know, what, how many leads I need to generate to get a sale. Okay, so if you just judge it on that to start with, as you guys continue to go through the process, you'll discover a lot more. Okay, so for those of you that don't have a plan in place already, you just work it on that. How many leads do I need? In addition to that, secondly, you go, okay, uh, what is the cost of your product, right? And how many sales do I need to make to be able to hit this? Okay? So if the outcome's 100000 it's a $5,000 product. Or well, just say, yeah, it's a $5,000 product. We know that we need to make 20 sales. Right? Then from there, we know that we need 20 sales. So we know that now... Every sa one sale we make out of 10, right? So we need 100 leads, 200 leads. To get to 20 sales. So you run the numbers on it, right? You know what you want to achieve. You know where you want to go with it, right? And then once you've got all of this, it's like, okay... I now know I need 200 leads to make 20 sales and that'll get me to, what did I say that was? Uh, 20 sales, that'll get me to 100 grand. Okay? So you understand now the numbers around what you must hit to get to your growth plan, right? And you can just watch this video all over again, right? It's just going to sit here on the page. I'm not going to hide it or get rid of it or anything like that. It'll just stay here on the page. It's evergreen. You can watch it at any time. So uh, when it comes to your strategy, you've got to have these parts of the puzzle in place, right? Understand where it is you're going. Okay, now you've got your plan, right? So what do you do next? You go, okay, how many leads am I getting a week at the moment? Or how many leads am I getting uh, a month at the moment? I know that I need 200 leads over the next 12 months in order to get to my 100K goal, right? Now that I've got all of this 
information. It's like, how do I go about getting the leads? Or how many leads am I getting at the moment? If I'm getting two leads a month, right? I know then that I need another probably 10, 15 a month, right? So it's like, okay, I know where I am. I know where I want to go. I know what's missing in between that I must hit, what the in-between target is. And this is how you do it. Number one, you make a commitment, okay? A commitment to get the result. So it's not just, you know, fluff something that you're going to try or something that you're going to do, right? You move into action and you say, I am committed. So the how comes when you get committed. Some of you aren't quite committed at the moment and that's okay. It's part of the journey. just means that you're not going to get the result that you're after. It takes a lot of work. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It takes a lot of work. And you really got to get super, super committed to the, to the result. So if you're not committed, you'll just sit there and fluff and you'll get nowhere, right? So I want to show you guys how you can actually get the result. And this is exactly how. You must start publishing content because you can do 100k over the next 90 days right you could you could do 100k over the next 90 days you could do 100k in the next 30 days just a different level of thinking right it's a different process it's a different way of communication it's a different way of speaking to people it's a different way of uh you know thinking to normal okay so you got to start publishing content number two You gotta get your strategy in place for your paid like yesterday. Yesterday. So your paid strategy, it would go something like this. What can I give away for free? Uh, I'm gonna ask him for an appointment afterwards. And I'm going to roll through my sales strategy then. Right? And it's as simple as that. Not easy. Definitely not easy. However, very, very simple ways to be able to start creating the change in your business and start getting a very, very different result. Remember what I said with the quote at the start. People go, impossible. That's what a lot of people do, their language, right? But if you break it down, that pen is crap. So a lot of people say, impossible. When really, you break it down, I... I'm possible, right? So this is very simple. You just got to have a very different level of thinking. You got to have a very different way of communicating with yourself and a very different language, okay? The different language will start getting you different results, very different results. Nothing is impossible, but you can say that I'm possible, it's just a different outlook and a different mindset. A different way of thinking. So having free appointment and then your sales strategy takes over, it's going to start getting you a very different result. Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Too many people, right? It's very easy to change this. Very easy to change it. But it takes discipline to keep it, right? It takes discipline to keep it because fear creeps in. 
worry, stress, anxiety, all this type of stuff. Oh my God. I'm not closing enough deals. I'm not closing enough deals. All this sort of stuff, right? And when it comes to change, it's very easy for someone to change and to do something different. However, it's very, it's, it's, uh, to keep the discipline is a completely different way of looking at it. It's like, you know, changing your language. It's impossible. No, I'm possible. It's the switch of words. It's the language. It's the way that you interact with things. The strategy is very simple. It's just not easy. Okay? People here in the whole social media game, right, they make this sound so hard. But I can tell you it is not hard. What is hard is to hold the discipline and the commitment to continue and not swap and change. That is hard. That is, or quote unquote, I would say challenging as opposed to hard. Nothing's hard. Challenging, yes. Holding the discipline is the challenge. A lot of people swap and change, try new things, do things differently and wonder why they stay where they are and don't move forward. It takes discipline to sit down and make sales calls and to have conversations with people. It takes discipline to be able to continue after you make a sale, continue doing it and move on to the next one. It takes discipline to do that. It takes discipline to do your non-paid strategies, discipline to do that every single day without fail. It takes discipline to be able to, over the last four-month period, continue to produce new content every single day like we have. It takes discipline. And a lot of people lack the discipline, which is the most important part when it comes to marketing, growing your business, and making it happen in 2020 when everybody else is telling you not to. We just did a very, very in-depth training yesterday with our 300 mastermind clients on some very heavy uh, next level marketing strategy uh, to be able to generate extreme, extreme, extreme amounts of leads to their business and relevance to new potential clients as well. And that training there, like everybody that was on it just loved it, right? They said that it was worth, just that one training was worth more than the membership that they pay for the 300 Mastermind program just from that one training that we did yesterday. Because we spoke very in-depth into marketing strategy, very in-depth around targeting, very in-depth around pivoting your model to a model that's more profitable and can bring in larger sums of cash flow to your business faster. Because for a lot of businesses, they're selling very small, low-priced products, right? And wondering why they struggle with cash flow all the time and run, wondering why they are having challenges with the growth, right? So we pivoted very simple pivot models across to businesses that, you know, uh, aren't traditionally very high-priced products and ways to be able to help people, etc. right? So, and we switched a lot of that to change it to be able to up the amount that, a, a, that clients are spending currently. And... That's what we were doing yesterday, right? And super, super relevance as well. So uh, for a lot of you as well, you can all do the exact same thing too as what we spoke about yesterday in our 300 Mastermind calls, right? And the strategy, as I said, for this and for your growth plan is as simple as what I've spoken about today. So go back over it. Uh, really embed it in your mind, right? Uh, because all of this, you can, you can actually get this up and running today. You can do all of this today, this whole thing today, 
right? You could do it in less than half a day. You can have all of this completed. You just got to sit. The, you got to be disciplined enough to set the time aside, do the work, right? And seek the feedback from someone that knows what they're doing. And naturally what happens as part of it? You start getting the growth. You start getting different results, right? That's what it's about. Some of you might be saying impossible. Some of you might be saying I'm possible because all of you are possible. You have the possibility to be able to get a different result right now, okay? But it's all coming down to the way that you think, the way you look at things, the way you look at the world, and the way that you listen to what's going on in the world right now, right? Me, I choose not to listen to it all. If there is things of relevancy, I find out things that are relevancy, you know, like if I can't travel, I understand that I can't travel, so I don't cry about it. I, I control what I can control, and you guys should be doing the exact same. Okay, so and, and this is specifically why the way your growth plan should work for 2020, and you should rinse and repeat this process over and over again till you get to your target. Which what I said right was the the plan that we worked out before. Like add a hundred k to your business, selling a five k product, you got to make twenty sales, right? When you break that down. It's like one every uh, one sale every like two point two weeks, approximately. It's a little bit more than that. I think it's like two and a half, right? So one of you can do the calculations on that, right? But it's a very very simple goal to hit. All it takes is, as I said, different levels of thinking, different ways of uh, doing business, different ways of the way that we think, right? Very simple. Even if this was a $2,000 product, I mean, what's well, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 sales. Like if it's a $2,000 product, 50 sales to get to 100K, right? Uh, the math is simple, right? And then it's going, okay, what's my weakest link? What's stopping me from getting this result, right? Okay, what's stopping me from getting this result is, hey, you know, I haven't got enough leads, right? So what do you do? You watch this video and you go, okay, this is the discipline, disciplinary actions that I must take in order to get there, right? Um, I will have a small marketing budget. I will step up my game here. I'll be disciplined enough. I've been, I've, I've got a freaking busy day. I'm back to back all day. Yet I still have time to come here and do this for you guys. I could quite. I don't. I don't need to do to publish content. I don't need to do it at all. I could just leave the whole page and do no content at all. Zero. I don't need to do it. However, I make the time to because. I know it's going to be valuable for you guys and, you know, I could quite easily fill this hour that, that I spend here or half an hour here to actually sit down and have my lunch properly or actually sit down and have another conversation with somebody that is going to be worth a lot more growth for the business, right? But that would be selfish of me doing that because I've got value to give you guys and this doesn't even touch the side in the knowledge I have. I haven't even got probably 10% of what's in my mind on paper yet. And that's continually and continuing to grow because I'm doing trainings with our guys, trainings with our team, training with uh, you know clients around all of this and documenting, putting things in place. Because a lot of things, they just come up at, in the moment with me, right? I've got so much in my unconscious mind at the moment. I don't know everything that I know because it's not all on paper. And I'm not saying that to brag or to impress you in any way, shape or form, but more so just to impress upon you the fact that, you know, you come here every single day, you'll get something new. You'll get a new idea, a new methodology, a new way of thinking, a new little, like you could have a little aha moment just by showing up. And that's all that I want. Just like one little aha moment that you could have in order to get a different result. One little aha moment you could have to be able to 
up level the way you think, up level the way you do what it is that you do. Because making an extra 100K is very simple. The math, when you look at it, if I'm selling a 5K product, as I said, 20 sales, that's all you need, which is like a sale every two and a half weeks-ish, right? However, if you don't really get that clarity on what it is that you must do, and you got that direction, like if you're a visual person or if you're a, a, you, you, you like to see things or it doesn't matter whether you're visual, you're non-visual, you're more auditory, blah, 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 it doesn't matter. You still got to see it. You got to know where you're going. You must put the plan in place because if you don't have a plan, you'll plan to fail, which I'm sure you've heard of that as well. So for every single one of you, Simple. You could add 100K to your business. So if you're already doing a million, right? 100K is just not even a friggin' like, you know, drop in the ocean. <laughs> However, right? It's just simple math, right? You go, uh, my business is maybe doing 100. If I want to add 100 and double, all right? All I got to do is get another, uh, what did I say? I didn't put it on this one. That's okay. Uh, we worked it out to be another 200 leads, right? to be able to, every single month, get the result and sell the 100Ks worth over the next 12 months. So we worked it out to be, I'm pretty sure it was 200 leads. 200 leads, uh, because I was saying it's going to be a 1 in 10, okay? So 1 in 10 leads that come through, I sell into a $5,000 product, make 20 sales over the next 12 months. Super simple maths. All you got to do is you got to start looking at things differently, right? You do have to, like, if you, you're not a numbers person, right? You really still got to do this, right? You're a business owner. You're a business owner. Act like a business owner. Business owners do this. And you'll be quite surprised where the creativity comes from when you actually start doing this. You get I get excited about this stuff. I'm not a numbers guy. Like everyone thinks I'm a numbers guy. I'm not a numbers guy. I'm not a details orientated person at all. I write long sales copy and I've got to get people to look over my work because I'm not a details guy. I miss things. I start saying sentences and then I leave the rest and I move on to the next, right? That's what I'm, I'm not a details guy. People think that I'm a details guy, but God, I understand that I need to do this. This is something that I must be able to do in order to be successful. And I get excited by this because I go, okay, how can we make another 100K, right? Let's sell 20 of this $5,000 product. Let's make this a focus. Let's sell 20 of those over the next 12 months, which is only one every two and a half weeks uh, or two a month will get us there, right? <laughs> Simple math. So simple maths. And if you guys have questions around your 2020 growth plan, this is your opportunity to be able to get those questions answered as well. This isn't just ideas we're speaking about here. This is your plan, right? If you have a plan, hit us below in the comments. Say, I've got a plan, you know? If you haven't got a plan, we're gonna do something about it. We've got it. We must do something about it. And we must do something about it yesterday. Yesterday, you needed this plan in place. Last week, last month, the 1st of July, right, in the new financial year for Australia or whatever it is, I know some places around the world, people that watch, they run per, like on a calendar year, basically, which would mean, hey, you're at month eight now and you've got four months left. What are you going to do to hit the target. What are you going to do to hit it? What are you going to change? Right? How many leads do you need? How many sales do you need? What product are you going to sell to be able to get there? To get to the target? How many of them you got to sell every week to get there? Okay? And are you going to remain disciplined? which is the biggest thing. Too many people give up. Too many people give up. 
and a lot of it, people like, like it's just it's just a it's just a mind shift that you must have. You got to get yourself committed. You you must get around people that are doing the work. You got to change your environment, right? You can change the environment you're just going to like our three hundred mastermind program. It's only like two hundred ninety seven US dollars to get access to. It's four hundred and thirty Australian euros. It's like nothing, right? You get access to literally all of our marketing material, all of our sales material, all of our scripts. Everything's like done for you. You just got to switch it across to your business, right? You go through, you create it. You just change words throughout it. That's all you do. It's all done for you, right? There's nothing else like it, right? Templated uh, systems of emails, templated automation processes, templated landing pages, templated copy, right? Uh, you just got to switch it all over to your business and, right, you go over this video as well and you say, okay, what's my, what am I going to be disciplined enough to do? Am I going, and I'm going to keep disciplined, right? And I am going to stay on track doing this. I'm not going to change. I will do this. Remember, it's easy to change. You must be disciplined enough to continue. Easy to change, you got to be disciplined to continue. And stick to the plan. Don't change it. Right? I don't I don't care what the plan is. If you're the type of person that's setting backup plans, right? I don't want a freaking backup plan. Backup plans are for wusses. Sorry, they are. Backup plans are for wusses, people that aren't committed, people that aren't disciplined enough to stick to it. So my advice is don't have a backup plan, right? Remain disciplined and make it a must. When you change things to a must, you start getting very different results. And it's the same with health, relationships, business, careers, your money, every area of your life, discipline is it. Sitting down with my health coach today, PT, um, guy who's holding me accountable to things, right? And, you know, I'm setting with him what I want to do and what I am committed enough to do every single day. What I must, I know what I must do to be able to hit the result, right? Right? I said to him, the end of the month, I want to be down to 92 kilos, right? And what I must change is I must start doing 10,000 steps every day. I schedule that into my calendar. I will go to the gym four times a week now. I've been doing it for three. I've got to start doing something differently to get a different result. And next level to that, I'm going to tighten up on my diet, right? And he's giving me a full grocery list. I'm like, sweet, make my life easier. And there's cookbooks and all this type of stuff all included as well. And it's like, well, to get change, you must first change. And at the end of the day, it's easy to change things, right? Easy to change what it is that you're currently doing and fall back into old habits, etc. But it takes discipline in order to keep going. And it's building that discipline that you must do every single day to start getting this different result. So I want to applaud every single one of you that are either on now or uh, watching the recording. And I want you guys to start creating new disciplines right now. What are you committed to do? What is your target, right? Uh, go through the first part of this video to go, okay, what product am I going to sell? What's the price of it? How many sales must I get to be able to get to the target? Right, work out what you must be doing every single week and what you're committed to doing every single week, right? And if you get to Friday and you haven't hit the result, it's like, I'm going to work the freaking weekend just to get it back. You got to do what it takes. Be disciplined enough to do what it takes to start getting the results, right? And you must be committed. That's why I said you must be committed. And then once you've got all this in place, then it's like, okay, where am I now? How many leads am I getting to it, right? Am I getting enough leads? Am I not getting enough leads? If I am getting enough leads and I'm not converting enough, it's like, well, okay, I need to work on my sales, right? So I need to get some training. If you're not getting enough leads, say, for example, you're getting one to two a week and you need 10 a week, 
okay, cool, now I understand that I can do something about it and I can start working out ways to increase it. This is what I'm going to rinse and repeat over and over again. I'm going to be disciplined enough to rinse and repeat this and I'm going to start getting very different results. Because only you can make the change. Nobody else. Only you can make the change. And this is your opportunity. As I said, like you guys can be asking questions now as well. So you can ask any questions of me. Uh, can you guys actually hear me? I'm not sure whether you can. I hope you guys can hear me because now I've been blabbing for about 40 minutes. And I hope you guys can hear everything that I'm saying. So what questions do you have right now for me that I can answer for you? to be able to ensure that you stay on track for your 2020 growth plan, okay? What do you need, what, what must you do in order to get the result, right? What do you need clarity on? What do you need help with to move forward? What do you need, what sort of, what information or what don't you know about getting to your result? And I can tell you this now, if you haven't added what you want to add to your business before, right, there's things that you don't know and you don't know what you don't know. You might say, I know how to do it. Well, why haven't you done it? There's a reason why you haven't done it. And this session is about helping you guys get into action because it's the discipline of that which is going to get you to the outcomes you're after. And you'll thank me in 12 months' time. You will thank me in 12 months' time. So let me know, what questions do you have right now for me? I'm going to go through and start seeing what's up. So welcome, Veronica. As I said before, thank you so much for sharing. For those of you that haven't uh, follow, not following Veronica yet, make sure that you do. Uh, she's exceptional. She knows so much when it comes to about to being able to help people create change. If some of you have things holding you back, right, from creating disciplines, right, if you're not taking as enough action as you would like to at the moment, you make sure that you speak with Veronica about that, right? I'm sure she could help you do some rewires around yourself that's what, that what's been holding you back to be able to help you start getting different results, okay? So hit up Veronica. She's just here in the comments. You can just see her comments and you can just send her a message. Just mention my name when you go to her. Okay. Um, so thanks for sharing. I really appreciate it. And uh, welcome, Ibby. Hope you're doing well, man. Welcome, Jacinda. Welcome, Betty. Welcome back. Uh, good to see you. We've got some top fans on here today. That's amazing. Uh, <laughs> caught up with paper. Oh, uh, yeah. Serena, PayPal, fun and games. They give us all challenges from time to time. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so for you guys that are here, make sure you grab access. If you haven't got it yet, make sure you grab access to the marketing blueprint. Um, it's just in the comments there. Serena has put it there. Just click the link. You can check that out. Um, Thank you for now. Fantastic. You're most certainly welcome. Happy to help. Happy to serve. So make sure that you guys watch this video again and again and again, right? Because if there's something that you, I've, I've spoken about so much today, um, naturally, I'll, you, you must listen to it a couple of times to really get it because you're really only going to be taking in about 10% of what I've spoken about today and then you're probably going to forget the rest, okay? Um, unless, of course, you're some sort of superhuman who uh, remembers everything and uh, which, you know, then you would be, I guess, top 1% of the world, <laughs> okay? You're like a, um, Bill Gates, right, that remembers 90% of everything he reads, um, and it's ingrained into his brain, uh, exceptional mind. So all of this here is exactly what you guys must be doing. And if there is no other questions, right, I'm going to wrap this one up for today as well which it doesn't look like we have any other questions, which is okay. Like and share the stream as well, please. More like nobody else is giving this type of info every day more in depth. Um, a lot of people are just like, I guess, chit-chatting on a lot of their lives and 
there's some content, but there's not a lot of content, right? Like not like this where you can go into depth in subjects, you get some real good ideas on how you can start doing things differently and start getting very different results. And that's what it's about. It's about helping you get ways to be able to get different results. And that's all I want for you guys. Remember, it's like the quote that I said to you guys at the start. Nothing is impossible, right? When you break down the word itself, it says, I'm possible, right? I'm possible. So nothing is impossible. When you break down the word impossible, it says, I'm possible, okay? So just remember that. Thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. Hope you're all having an absolutely marvelous day as well. Uh, we're going to wrap this one up. Remember this one thing. If you do not fight for your own freedom, absolutely nobody else will. So every single day, you must take action. Every single day, you must make it happen. Every single day, remember... You are the warrior. So get out there, be the warrior. Implement what it is that we've spoken about today. Make sure you're following the page and seeing everything first so that you get all every time that we go live. Turn up live from time to time. I'll give away little spot prizes. I'm thinking I'm going to give away some this week as well. So make sure that you come in, you follow the page, you get the information, but more importantly, you start implementing it. Start implementing it. And when you have implemented it and you have got results, just go up to the top of the page and just give us a review and just say, hey, best information or whatever it is that you want to say in your own words, okay? Thank you so much for tuning in. Have an amazing day and we will see you tomorrow, 12 o'clock Perth, Western Australia time. That's 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. That is 6 p.m. New Zealand time. And that is 12 a.m. on the Florida side of the U.S. Thank you so much for tuning in. Speak to you all soon. Cheers.